Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Bruce and today I want to explain the differences between light tanks and show you how you can make them work no matter what strength and weaknesses they have. Let's go. I already made multiple light tank tutorials in which I gave tons of tips and tricks for light tanks. I will link them in this video so you can easily check them out if you want to become a better light tank player. Besides those general tips, one has to understand that light tanks in World of Tanks differ with regards to their concealment, mobility, firepower and even armor. So in this video I want to talk about different so-called classes of light tanks and explain what those differences mean for their gameplay. So without further ado, let's jump into the gameplay and take a look at different light tanks in World of Tanks. Alright, here we are in the first game. We are spawning on Cliff with the G-Saw, the tier 9 British light tank and instead of uh, taking a look at the map because you all know that in my opinion the strategic position for light tank is the hill on the e7 e9 position i want to talk about this type of light tank and in my opinion this light tank is has a, an inferior firepower because of the super low dpm and the super low alpha damage um well, actually, the alpha damage is not too low, but the DPM is simply lackluster compared to other light tanks. Now, on the other hand, this tank has a good spotting ability because of the good camo value and the relatively, let's say, okay view range. So, what this means is we cannot play over aggressively at the beginning of the game. So, instead of rushing the hill... Alright, okay, so I need to pause. Okay, um... My first game plan was not to rush the hill simply because I cannot compete with any other light tank in the game. But take a look at the minimap. At the F2 position, both other light tanks are spotted and so I instantly changed my game plan in order to rush the hill because yes, it is still risky and other players will aim the hill. And yes, I take a shot from the Indian Panzer, but the the advantage is as those light tanks did not approach the hill, I get spotted much later and so the chances of surviving this aggressive move are significantly higher. And this move, I, I only took this move simply because I could spot, or those two light tanks were spotted at the very beginning of the game, giving me enough time to change my decision and to finally go on top of the hill. I do not know their decision making, in my opinion it is a very bad move to go into this little ditch because they have to compete against the medium tanks which have a much higher firepower than light tanks but that's how it is so i can now exploit this situation and i can move on top of the hill but what i wanted to tell you is in a tank like the gsor with a lackluster firepower you cannot compete against other light tanks because not only the well i mean the gsor is the exact same same tank but the HWK-30, if he loads premium ammunition, he can easily take you out because his, his uh, DPM is much higher than compared to the g -Source. So this tank class performs well later on in the game. Now, of course, what you can do with such a tank, which I would consider basically a passive scout, a typical passive scout, you can go into a uh, into a bush at the beginning of the game, but you should make sure that this bush is not too aggressive. And uh, keep in mind, if you go into a very obvious passive scouting position early on in the game, chances are that experienced players will blind fire this bush. So I'm thinking of a bush, let, let's say on Malinovka, there's a typical uh, passive scout bush and if I spawn on Malinovka in a medium tank, the first thing I do is I blind fire this typical light tank passive scout position and most of the time I am successful and I manage to either take this light tank out or I manage or I achieve that this light tank needs to leave this bush, get spotted and is then taken out by my teammates. So do not go do not play over aggressively in such a light tank and such a passive scout tank um and make sure that you survive at the beginning of the game and uh, because your strength incre increases and the strength of such a spotting tank 
is higher at the end of the game if um, the other tanks are um, have been taken out. Um, another thing that you should take, in, take into consideration, and this basically applies for every light tank, no matter what type of light tank you play, your first targets are the other light tanks in the game, and your first goal should be to either take out the other light tanks on your own once again this is super difficult with a tank like the GSO because your firepower is inferior or you should make sure that those tanks are spotted so that your teammates can take out those tanks and that is once again the goal that you should have in every light tank because as soon as the other light tanks are taken out of the game then you have a clear and distinct spotting advantage over any other tank on the battlefield that you can exploit later on in the game and your tank your your gameplay will be more successful if you can if you don't have to worry about the other light tanks all right so back to the game we are simply trying to exploit this position and as you can see the the gun handling of those British light tanks is actually pretty nice. So yes, they have a mediocre or a lackluster uh, damage per minute, but the gun handling itself is actually pretty nice. And if you fully aim in your shot, you can also perform some sniping in those tanks. And what I want to do is I want to still make sure that I do not lose any HP, which I might need at the end of the game and so i take a shot and as soon as i see those tanks pointing their turret towards me i make sure that i hide once again in order to not get any damage now later on um what i want to do is i want to also use my spotting ability but let's take a shot onto the badger nice because i know that the gun elevation of this tank is not sufficient in order to take a shot onto me even if he would try to do so and so I can simply farm him, even though my tank is actually firepower-wise pretty weak. Okay, here goes. So can we take a shot on two other tanks? Now, the problem with the g and with the other British light tanks is the amount of ammunition that you carry is pretty low. Okay, let's take a shot onto his tank. Let's see. Nice. And as you can see, what I do is... I know that I have the best concealment value so I can easily uh, move out of cover and not get spotted. So I have the first shot advantage onto the Indian Panzer. But as soon as I shot, um, my camo value is reduced significantly. So I will get spotted. And so as soon as I have taken the shot, I need to make sure that I fall back into cover. So that, for example, the tank destroyer, the T-30 at the E-5 position cannot take a shot at me. Because he might even one shot me and take me out so that is extremely important uh, important that you have this kind of overview and that you know whether you are threatened or not all right so can we continue to spot for our team here we go the t30 is spotted so i can use my shots in order to blind fire him nice and maybe we can even take him out he's continuing to turn his turret towards the other opponents so let's fully aim in and excellent okay perfect so a very dangerous tank has been taken out of the game and now let's see whether we can take another shot onto the bad chat let's see here you go and let's fall back instantaneously all right it looks like i'm not spotted anymore and so can we get it can we get a shot onto the 112 let me see <coughs> <clears throat> sorry let me see oh yeah <laughs> yeah my ammunition is empty so yeah that's the problem of the british light tanks but you know what we will still continue to spot this tank now he's taken out excellent we still get some spotting damage and we managed to get 3000 damage and 1000 assisting damage in the g so i think this is fa a fantastic result and you know what we will simply try to first of all not throw away our tank let me see can i jump down here no i do not want to jump but okay 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 and maybe we can take or use our mobility in order to arrive okay the projecto 54 is spotted at this position maybe we can spot the rt first no i think the the amx 30 is 
uh, will arrive first and so he will get the spotting damage nothing we can do okay but i think um important to understand is that those passive um passive spotters which lack firepower cannot compete against the other light tanks at the beginning of the game you need to play them cautiously you can go to a spotting position at the beginning of the game but you need to play cautiously and understand that obvious spotting positions obvious bushes will get blind fired and then understand that the, the the strength of such a tank increases throughout the game so just make sure that you stay alive this applies for every light tank but especially for such a passive scout now another kind of light tank class is a tank like the char mle 75. this thing also has a good camo value don't get me wrong but in my opinion this tank has an insane firepower with the, with its two short autoloader gun which can deal 1200 damage in a very short period of time now as this tank has kind of the turbo mode this tank also applies as a as an active scout and this tank can be used in this role and other tanks would be the british uh, sorry the the french um wheeled light tanks especially the top tier tanks because those tanks are also pretty fast and can be used as active scouts so what can you do with those tanks well first of all you can do what i am doing right here you can try to spot the 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 enemy tanks and sometimes you are successful you should make sure that you don't exaggerate it and you don't get taken out at the beginning of the game and sometimes it will not be successful but at least you will give your team the information of on uh, or like where the where the other tanks are going and this is useful for your team in order to yeah position themselves on the map so okay that has not been successful now the drawback of this tank in particular is that you have a high firepower with your two shot autoloader gun but your gun handling is so weak that you cannot make snapshots and plus you cannot snipe with this tank so the only situation in which your firepower is actually useful is in close quarters fight so this tank is basically made to rush a strategic position and to take out the other light tank um, but besides that you can obviously also use the the light tank um, the light tank properties of this tank and so you can simply try to spot for your team now what i want to do and what you need to apply in any light tank no matter what kind of light tank class it is you need to be patient because once again you can you are most useful at the end of the game so there's no need to rush any position at the beginning of the game and there's also no need to play over aggressively once again in an active scout so in a scout which has a good um a good speed you can kind of conduct such active scouting at the beginning of the game but besides this what you can also do is just stay passively and do not risk too much um, as i told you the other light tank is my main target and the other char mle 75 is still alive and is still a competitor in the game and chances are that he is positioned in this e1 uh in this e1 bush so i'm trying to peek out of cover blind firing this position this obvious position i'm spotted but i do not know whether i got spotted by the conqueror or maybe by the other light tank or another tank in the game but you know what i think maybe i can go into this bush and simply conduct some passive scouting and simply maintain in this bush okay i'm spotted in even in this bush okay so i think chances are that the enemy char L lme uh, sorry mle has um, already moved into an aggressive position and is able to outspot me and layer yeah, okay the stritzwang 103 has lost his patience and is now um farmed by the enemy by the enemy team all right so you know what um I think I should not lose more HP on the one and two lands. So far, our game is really, really bad. No damage at all, no spotting damage at all. But, and that's what I also want to show you, 
that's not a problem especially for a light tank because with a light tank there you are very strong at the at the end of the game and you can relative relatively easily pick up spotting damage if you manage to stay alive until the end of the game this applies of course especially for such a map for prokhorovka and as you can see our team has managed to win the right side of the map and i think it is now um time okay i'm sure pay more attention to where i am driving um, it is time now for us to exploit this map control and to simply move to the two lane but from the other side so let's see let's change the the driving mode so that our gun is more precise and okay this thing is taken out okay now he's blocking this position from which you have cover okay so this tank is taken out but you know what it's now time for our spotting run and once again we can use our speed in order to spot the other remaining tanks so let's use this bush now i should be spotted but i will move more to the left hand side in order to hide yes i spot this tank i get spotted yep that was expected and so i want to make sure that i stay here for at least 10 seconds so that i'm not spotted anymore and then i will use the next bush and go over the next ridge line to go deeper into the adversary base and here you go that's what i want to see now i want to hide once again um underneath this ridge line though so, so that uh, my team can take those tanks under fire um okay yeah i get shot by the here you go let's get at least one shot and okay at least one shot onto the um zoo 130 pm and so one three thousand one hundred spotting damage in only a couple of seconds so i think this is a perfect example of staying patient trying to help your team but if it is not working then simply um stay alive until the end of the game because in a light tank there's there's you have basically every time in the world to collect your spotting damage and once again the strength of the light tank is at the end of the game where you have the spotting advantage on your side okay so yeah we saw the next tank class a tank class which lets you perform active scouting and um, sometimes those active scouts are bad sport a bad uh, passive scouts but sometimes um, like with the char mle they are not and i think i also talked about the performance of the gun and the firepower and uh, yeah you simply have to know what tank you are playing and you have to know the limitations of your tank okay so um let's get one more shot here go bam 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 this is the strength of the char mle and now he's going to take me out which is fine can we take another shot yes at least 200 and now he will take me out but i make 1000 damage 5.2k spotting damage and i think a decent result in the char mle now sometimes you spawn or you play a tank a light tank which is not only a relatively decent passive scout but also a tank which has a very good firepower and this applies for the french light tanks for the track light tanks especially the tier 10 light tank due to its autoloader gun with 390 alpha damage in the game but um, i chose this replay in order to tell you one other lesson and once again this applies for every light tank in the game so take a look at the matchmaking we are matched against or in a game in which we have three light tanks plus an ebr 105 plus a rheinmetall panzerwagen which is uh, pretty agile and pretty fast and so chances are that the ebr 105 will play ultra aggressively and will outspot the t100 lt in its passive uh, spotting location and by the way this was the bush that i was talking about earlier on in the game so in such a game i want to play super passively at the beginning of the game and i'm even moving into a medium tank position because i want to make sure that i'm not taken out at the beginning of the game and as you can see i can perfectly play my tank as a medium tank at the beginning of the game simply spot those tanks and make okay at least at least 400 damage at the beginning of the game now 
as you can see the t100lt is already spotted because artillery is focusing him and i simply want to reverse into this bush to make sure that i can evade out of the situation quickly if it is possible or if it is uh, if it becomes necessary all right so let's see how it goes once again in such a situation I recommend to play super passively, not super passively, but passively enough so that you make sure that you do not get taken out at the beginning of the game. Your star will shine when you have made managed to take out the other light tanks in the game. Okay, here you go. And okay, I'm that was super unfortunate. I do not manage to take a shot. Now, do I want to go on top of this ridge line? Well, I do not think so because chances are that other tanks will aim at me and yeah that is a that is a good um, opportunity for the EBR but now as this tank has shot we can get one shot and hopefully we will not no, excellent okay we will not be taken out and so now it is time to leave the scenery to waggle around a bit so that we do not get um, shot by the adversary tanks and as you can see the EBR 105 of the adversary team is playing super aggressively maybe we can take a shot onto him as soon as our clip is reloaded but so far we have uh, managed to help our team to take out at least one adversary light tank and so let me see maybe if this EBR player falls back we can take a shot but I know Hmm. I think I should um, fall back because from here, from this position, I can easily get pushed out, for example, by the TVP T5051. So, you know what? Let's um, preserve our HP and let's go back. Meanwhile, the adversary team is making pressure at the southern part of the map. And you know what? I think it is time to use my passive scouting abilities in order to help out my team. Because we still have two... TDs, um, one of which will most likely get taken out soon because he is not in a very good position. But in such a situation, what I can do for my team is I can take over the spotting role and simply spot for my team. So I pick a bush from which I think I can outspot the adversary tanks once they are approaching and then I will simply wait and make sure that I bring the spots that my team needs. So once again, let's talk about this tank class, where the, the, the AMX-13105 is a very strong light tank. It is not the best passive scout. Uh, this role clearly goes to the, to the Manticore, but it is pretty decent at scouting. Plus, let's take out this thing. Bam. Um, so I need to, okay, I need to make sure that I um, go down here so I don't get taken out. Um... But due to the fact that this tank has a pretty strong firepower with its autoloader clip, it's simply the jack of all trades when it comes to light tanks. Plus, it is also, of course, relatively mobile. Not the most mobile light tank, but once again, mobile enough to be strong in every regard. Okay, so I think it was a pretty decent choice to go to this bush as it appears, and we will simply continue to scout passively um yeah so um with this tank you can basically rush strategic positions simply because you have the firepower to do so you can conduct um passive scouting and to a certain degree you can also conduct of course um active scouting so once again it's a jack, jack of all trade and i really recommend this tech tree line because it is pretty equal from tier 5 basically onward up to tier 10. um and uh, the lesson that I want to teach you once again is if you have multiple light tanks in a game, you should make sure that you are the last light tank remaining in the game because then this is the situation where you are, where your star is shining and we can be, you can basically dominate the other tanks. Okay, so Gorilla is advancing and let me see. I think we will simply stay in this position and play passively we've lost map control but that's how it is in my opinion the t100 lt should now also um fall back to passive scouting and basically spot for the gorilla so that our remaining tanks can take a shot onto the approaching heavy tanks 
if they are um, further advancing Kray. Now he's uh, moving into this bush, which is maybe not a bad choice because of the Gorilla 15. But I think we will simply wait and make sure that we outspot the other tanks. We should even have an advantage over the Rheinmetall Panzerwagen um, as soon as this tank advances. So let's see how it goes. Okay, now the game is pretty stable as it appears. Um, let me see. I think as the... 60p has won the hill it is time to support him and to maybe um fight and win against the amx m454 the 60p is basically one shot you know he is one shot but we still have 1400 hp that we can trade and that is basically another lesson um because i mean even even though we are lighting, even though we have no armor whatsoever, of course it is possible to trade, consciously trade, our 1400 HP at the end of the game in order to make an, let's say, a winning move. So that's what we want to do. And we want to simply use our mobility to flank this tank. Here go and bam, take him out. Excellent. That's what we want to do. Now we want to keep moving in order to evade an adversary artillery shot. Plus we want to instantaneously reload our autoloader gun. And see, can we get a shot onto the gorilla? I think we can move to the... Yeah, he's not moving out of cover because he's not... A bad player um, but maybe we can move to the C what is it to the D5 D6 position but first I want to wait and see whether he actually moves out of cover no you know what let's go to this position let's go to a position from which we can take a shot onto the gorilla because it would be nice if we could take him out um, okay, meanwhile, the Rheinmetall Panzerwagen is going into our base, which is bad. And, of course, that's the trade-off. If you make a play on one flank, then this means you expose the other flank to the other light tank. That's just how it is, but I think it was nonetheless the right decision to help out the 60 TP in this situation. Maybe we can kill the Gorilla 15, which would be excellent. And... <clears throat> You go are we spotted no i don't think so and okay let's yeah let's use those two bushes nice so that we don't get spotted bam and do, 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 do. okay here you go and let's take him out here you go okay perfect so we can kill the gorilla uh, okay the stritzwagen um one of three b is in the in our base but i think the t100 lt can be can spot him and so our artillery should be able to at least there you go should be able to at least splash him so that um the cap countdown is reset and meanwhile we can simply reload our clip and try to get shots onto the fv4005 excellent bam so you know what let's uh empty our whole clip and then thereafter we want to relocate and yeah, excellent. So uh, our team could take out the Stritzwang 103B. Excellent. And yeah, this is why I like this particular tank uh, due to the combination of its passive scouting abilities plus its tremendous firepower with its three-shot autoloader gun. You can simply, you are so flexible. I mean, even in a light tank, a light tank, in my opinion, is a bit less flexible compared to a medium tank. But in this tank you are so flexible you can play every light tank role plus you can take over a medium tank role because you have the firepower to do so which is simply excellent and it is so much so much fun to play so you know what we have made another clip and now it is time to simply use a use an approach so that we can stay relatively unspotted but simply you know what simply rush him out and um i think with our agility it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever i think his his um gun should be should still be pointed towards me now i'm reloaded and here you go okay he's taken out excellent so yeah perfect all right so <clears throat> let's see where is the adversary artillery um 
let me see so can we take this one out can we spot it hopefully as as long as it is positioned in this spot where i am going everything should be fine now i think the 60 dp will manage to take out the the object um two six one three minutes to go the we yeah, the T92 HMC. Yeah, we're now spotted. Okay, perfect. No. Okay. Uh, okay. This is always a bit risky situation. Because he can, of course... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Both artilleries fortunately miss. And now I think the 60B will take out the Object 261. Yes, excellent. And so, yeah. 2,400 damage and 1,200 assisting damage. I think we kind of outplayed the adversary team, giving our team the chance to win this game. And this is what you can do in such a strong tank, which is every strength, not only firepower, but also spotting ability. And um, yeah, so let's now take a look at the tank, which is not superior, but actually inferior. All right. Here we are in the fourth game. This time we're spotting, oh, sorry, we're spawning in the WZ-132, the Chinese tier 8 light tank. And the problem of this tank is that it is simply inferior. Its spotting ability is inferior due to its lack of concealment value, at least compared to other light tanks. It is not the fastest tank on the battlefield. It has a good alpha damage, however the gun handling is not the best one as well. And so it is simply inferior to other light tanks. So plus the armor is not sufficient in order to compensate for those weaknesses. So what can you do if you are playing in such a tank? Well, in my opinion, you cannot rush a strategic position simply because you lack the firepower. Plus your your mobility is not enough to do so so what you can do is or what you have to do is you have to play passively at the beginning of the game and simply try to get a bit of damage here a bit of damage there and then later on in the game at least once the adversary light tanks are taken out then this is the time for you to play more aggressively but at the beginning of the game the only thing you can do is play passively and try to stay alive and just try to exploit every little situation that is presented to you on the battlefield so what am i doing right here i do not want to stay in the same position for the remaining of the game i simply want to incorporate my teammates into the game at least um, if i am playing against medium tanks and heavy tanks that i can outspot so I want to go to this bush. Unfortunately, the TNH-105-1000 has uh, positioned itself extremely badly against two medium tanks, one of which is the Iron Army, which will easily be able to take out this, uh, this uh, Czechoslovakian heavy tank. Yep, that is happening, and I'm trying to spot them. Okay, I just recognize that there's a little... A little ridge line and I think I'm not able to over peak to look over this ridge line and so okay I need to fall back because it's simply useless so all right let's see what I can do of course I'm leaving my team alone it's it, it would be a perfectly fine gameplay to proceed to the strategic position in the south alongside with my teammates in order to help them and in order to give them one more additional gun in order to fight against the other tanks against the adversary tanks that would be perfectly fine and it would make perfectly sense now i chose to help my team to kind of at least remain situational awareness over the northern portion of the map and spot a tank here and there looks like i think i didn't even spot the iron army um okay um okay badger 12t is uh, approaching my position so <clears throat> let me see can i get a shot onto this tank no um i need to fall back because sooner or later he will he will uh simply spot me and so i need to fall back into cover yep i'm spotted so you know what it's not the time to cross an open field and get shot by other tanks it's simply time to decrease the uh, distance to cover and simply fall back and uh, make sure that we are not spotted yeah of course, such a playstyle is pretty disappointing, at least at first, because, um, I mean, there's not much you can do. But you simply have to wait for 
situations to arise and that is one of those situations now our TD is making pressure and so of course we want to follow him and help him to take out this tank which has chosen to go into an over aggressive position now Iron Arnie is also approaching this position so let's hide here let's try to here you go let's try to hide here and simply help out my teammate so that the Iron Army, which is an extremely dangerous tank, gets taken out. Now, maybe he... Yep, he turns the turret to our other tank. Excellent. So we could at least help our team to take out those two tanks, which have um, chosen to play super aggressively. Okay, as you can see, the gun handling is not the best one. Another reason why the firepower... I should say the effective firepower is not the best one in this tank. But, once again... The thing is, if you play such an inferior light tank, and I mean, there are stronger light tanks in some regards, and there are, there are weaker light tanks in some regards, you simply have to analyze the situation and assess your strength of your light tank and compare to the other light tanks in the game. And if you're playing in an inferior light tank, then that is all right. That is that is not a, per se not a problem. Of course, it's, it's, it is a problem in some regards that I already explained, but you have simply to adjust your your playstyle so that you manage to stay alive until the end of the game and simply exploit situations that are arising and um, as you can see now all other light tanks have been taken out and so now it is time for me to spot the other tanks and even take this tank out excellent okay so we increased our spotting damage to 1264 which is excellent and now <clears throat> And now, <clears throat> sorry, let's see whether we can advance. Of course, the Burrask is a super dangerous opponent. And so I do not want to blindly approach his position because he can simply take me out with two shots with his two shot autoloader clip. And so it is still time to play smart and to not play over aggressively. Anyway, I want to advance into this position because i mean it is now time to make pressure and to help my team to win the game now um let me see okay is he somewhere here no he's not i'm not spotted so far <laughs> so where what can we do let me see i think i will approach the enemy base hopefully the burrask is not situated here and then I want to fall into the rear of the tanks down there and maybe take out some tanks so to reduce the adversary guns and so to give my team an advantage so that my team can finally win this this flag. Okay, here you go. Okay, nice. We can spot this TD. Nice. And we can now help our team because we can, we can uh, take shots into the rear and the side of this tank. Gosh, the... DPM is so bad on this tank uh, but now this tank has turned around meaning that he is unable to target our tanks which are okay that was unfortunate which are approaching um, the right flank and now I think the situation has changed for our team because now those all those tanks are in a crossfire situation okay this tank is finally turning around excellent so we can now continue to take a shot okay let's first of all concentrate on to the chariot here excellent and now um it is time to go bam to take out this tank and now it is time to take it uh, to take a shot on to oh here go i can just a uh, shot on to the here go nice yeah from this position i can simply farm the adversary tanks um because I simply managed to flank them and you go a shot onto the Japanese D. I can simply hide behind the rocks. And as you can see, you can also perform great in such tanks. Now, of course, um, there are more games in which this is not possible than there are games in which it actually is. But nonetheless, what I want to talk about is you have to adapt or you have to adjust the, the play style of your light tank to the actually light tank class or to the to the characteristics of your light tank that is extremely important 
And if you do this, plus if you follow some basic lighting tips and tricks, then you are set up to be successful in your light tank gameplay. And that is basically what I recommend to do. So it's the combination of those two things. It's a combination of adjusting your playstyle plus um, to adhere to some basic rules which apply for every light tank in the game. And with doing so, you will become a superb light tank player. Alright guys, that was it for today with another little tutorial on how to play different types of light tanks in World of Tanks. Do you like to play light tanks? Have you already watched my other light tank tutorials? Just leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Consider subscribing to my channel and I see you next time in another World of Tanks video.